So Checker started giving out those little shop things again. They're like miniature versions of actual products, except they cannot be used because they are fake. I never know what to do with them. I still have the lot from the last time. What did they do last time? No, they, last time they didn't have little products. What is this? Oh yeah, that was when you were supposed to like build the little shop on the little board with the thingies. Yeah, this is supposed to be, what is that? A fridge or something. Yeah, fridge with stuff in it. And you first had to stick the stickers in and then this, with this little uh, circle thingies, it would stand on that board that you had to buy. Sort of a Lego board or uh, an imitation thereof. I don't know why I always take them, but uh, I suppose it's because they're free. You feel like you must take them because they're free, otherwise you're missing out. I mean, it is free. Why would you not take them? Maybe they'll come in useful to like store somewhere in a drawer or wherever. But who knows? Maybe one day children will come by and visit and uh, you can give it to them. Anyway. I am dying to know what we are getting this year, or this time around. Let's see, Little Shop 3, it says on there, 3. Oh, okay, yeah, because the other time it was like Legos and sometimes it's plants, you must plant in a pot and such and such. Let's look what we have. What is that? Plant-based sausages. Okay, it's that vegan junk. And what else is here? Oh, there is now a Little Shop 3 collector's card. Like a, a certificate of authenticity, I suppose, for the collectors. Because who knows, maybe in 20 or 50 years, uh, 100 years, these things might be valuable. Let's see, simple truth plant-based sausage. Okay, that's the item. What's on the back? I'm fully recyclable. Did you know these plant-based sausages are packed with protein to make you strong? Play and recycle, it says there at the bottom. Anyway, I believe this year I shall collect them all in a big jar. In you go. What else do we have? Let's see. Players Dream Bear. Uh, I used to know them under a different name. I suppose it's the stuff that's filled with caramel. Or is this different, different make? Same thing, yeah. Unfortunately, there isn't one in there. What is in there? I know a lot of people are gonna be very, very curious and a lot of children will want to eat this. Let's see. Is there a caramel filled chocolate bear in this? What do we have? What do we have? Please be something nice. Oh! Okay, that's pretty boring. Looks like just a piece of plain cardboard. Alright, well there I've destroyed my dream bear so you don't have to, in case you were curious as to what is actually in there. Much less tasty than actual caramel inside chocolate. Into the jar! Next up, what do we have? Another... I almost said caramel bear because I saw their collector's card, but no, it's dream bear. Yeah, we already know what's in that. What else have we got? Collector's card, this is Lager Rooibos Tea. Pretty cute little tea thingy. This one is completely empty, is it? Oh, you can actually open this one. And inside there is only like a little support thingy so it doesn't get squashed. Or what is this? Oh, okay. Little zigzag thingy. I suppose I could fit one tea bag in there if I have guests, guests over. I can put one or two tea bags in there and uh, put this in their room and they can get their tea out of that. Next, what have we got? Okay, the collector's card, I'll just look on this. Chicken flavor two minute noodles. Yeah, pretty cute. I see they closed it up with a little bit of sellotape there. So I don't think I'm gonna open this one. What have we got? Ooh, this one feels big. Like a big round thingy. Collector's card. Oh! Ons drink om die Oros. Little Oros bottle. 
That's an orange squash, by the way. I can't read everything on there because it's printed so small, but yeah, it's definitely Oros. Not quite the right color, though. See, it's supposed to be like a really bright orange. This is not the right orange. And no, you cannot unscrew the lid. And we have two more here. What do we have? That feels like a little box again. Ah, uh, okay. Same noodles thingy. And last but not least, what is this? This feels like something different. What have we got now? Card. And our final product is sunfoil oil. This one they got the color quite right. Yeah, what they should have done is make it so you can unscrew it. Seems like you can't. Yeah, no, unfortunately not. Because then, you see, it's all empty. What you could have done with this is put some actual cooking oil in there for when you go traveling, just for a weekend. And uh, yeah, you could fry your eggs in the morning with that little bit of oil that you can fit in there. Then this thing will actually have a use. It will be usable instead of just being an ornament. All right, and there is my jar. Uh, yeah, we made a start. Still got a long way to go if we're gonna fill it up, unless I find the stuff from, what was it, 2016? How many times have they done this now? Oh, three times, that's why they say Little Shop 3. But I suppose I could put the Lego stuff also in there. No, maybe not. It's not the same thing. And then once my jar is full, what do I do with them? Well, one is I can play shop with it. All I need is my little cash register. And then I go, oh, okay, oil. Tea and uh, noodles and uh, oh yeah this is those vegan sausages look at that they have like hot dogs there made with vegan sausages I'm not sure who would want to eat that but probably vegans and then yeah baby total there's your total and uh, cash oh you're gonna pay by cards payment accepted yeah, this was a lot of fun. The other thing I can do with these is, you remember those little shelfies that you put up on the wall? That you put the miniature ornaments in? Let's see, you go there, you go there, and you go there. Yeah man, look. And I thought these things wouldn't have much use. They're endless fun, I tell you, endless. Ah, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna put this up on the wall. So there you go, in case you didn't know what to do with your miniature product ornaments. Yeah, those are the only things I can think of. Except, yeah, I can probably use them as exchange currency to buy candy from children or something. But uh, let me know in the comments, what do you do with all your little ornamental products? Do they also just end up in a drawer somewhere or in, in a bag? Or do you throw them away? I don't know, tell me in the comments just for interest sake. All right, now. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet, and uh, we'll enjoy talking about more stuff next time, baby. Peace.